When I was 11 years old, um, my mother bought me the ugliest picture you have ever seen in your life. I, I'm not kidding. It was like of a Victorian doll laying face down in the dirt with like a broke arm. And she had my dad come in the room and like immediately hang it up. It said, to have a friend is to be a friend. I'm not sure to this day what I had done at 11 years old to make my mom so aggressive. But I remember asking her, why, why do you want that on my wall so bad? And she said, because if you have a single friend, by the time you're 15, Melissa, I will be shocked. But then when I became 15, it was like, if you have a single friend by the time you're 16, Melissa, when I was 16, if you have a single friend by the time you're 18, Melissa, by the time I was 21, it had pretty much been ingrained in me that I was not a very good friend. And so that's exactly what I became. I became a pretty crappy friend to some pretty great people. And that continued long into my life until I changed it. But this isn't unique to you though, is it? I mean, my story is certainly not unique to you because you know as well as I do that friendships are stinking hard. And you think that they got better, like being kids with friendships is hard, teenagers hard. Do you think as adults they got easier? <laughs> no. They become much, much harder. They really do. But I believe that even though we are busy and even though we are tired and even though we have no money to go spend on a girl's vacay and even though we have to stay home on a Friday night and hold a trash can so our sick kid can throw up in it instead of going out for margaritas and even though we feel lonely and even though we feel like we are the buzzkill, and even though the fun went out of us the minute we took on a mortgage, and even though we have been told to keep our social distance, I believe with my whole heart that friendships and relationships are so very important. They're important. I mean, they're hard, but I mean, parenting's hard. You're still doing that. <laughs> right? Now, I am no relationship guru by any means, though I have learned a lot over this years. I've learned so much from all my years of burning bridges that I've now helped hundreds and hundreds of women and men find connection and relationships and even true friendship just when they were about to throw in the towel. In the next five minutes, I want to tell you why you cannot continue to live like a hermit crab at the back of the room, hermited away in your house, alone in your bed with the covers pulled over your head. That is no way to live. And you're doing it because you believe one of these three lies. Ready? Lie number one. I don't get close to people, Melissa. I have trust issues. I don't let people near me. Okay. You know that's not working, right? You're not fooling anybody. You might as well wear a t-shirt that says, my sister married my high school boyfriend and we haven't spoken in 10 years. So no, I can't come to your book club. That's how absurd it sounds. You need people. Full stop. You need them to validate your parking. You need them to check into a hotel. You need them to throw you a baby shower. You need the help when you need to buy a new car. I mean, people are everywhere. And we need them. And every time that you put up your hand, mm, because your former bestie, Ashley, went on a vacation with your arch nemesis, and therefore you can never trust her, her or anyone else ever again. You are being childish. And you're giving Ashley, whoever she is, like a whole lot of your power. Lie number two. I'm shy. And I'm boring, and so no one is really interested in... Okay, I, I'm going to stop you right there. Thank God you're quiet. Thank God you're boring. Because I'm a whole lot. If everyone was the same, we would all die from boredom. For every woman watching this who thinks that she's too shy, she's too timid, that she's boring, you know, is another woman watching it who's saying to herself, people say I'm too much. They say I'm too loud. I'm too sarcastic. Great! Meet each other. 
You're looking for each other and you didn't even know it. You just haven't met the right people yet. Mind blown. And line number three, I can't make friends in my neighborhood or my church. Well, first of all, are these the only places you're trying? <laughs> Sheesh. If I stuck to just making friends in my neighborhood, it uh, only, it would be me, the man across the street who thinks everybody's dog's killing his chickens but his own. And a very nice Spanish family that lives back here, they look at me like they don't trust me. I mean, are you getting out? Are you going to meetings at the school where maybe you could meet other parents? Are you trying online groups? Are you trying um, Bible studies? It's like sometimes people, you know, host in their home. Are you taking tap dance lessons in town or joining a gym? I mean, and may I ask, are you friendly? Because one of the most common statements that I hear is I have so much trouble making friends. And I know. I know, but I also know that I am a part of a group of 800 women and men across the, who across the whole United States and the United Arab Emirates and Jordan, who found the one thing that you find so hard, so darn easy. Why is that? If anything I've said today resonates with you, then I want to invite you to come sit at my table Seriously, our table's big, it's huge. And it sits so many different people from so many different walks of life. It seats the young and the old. It seats the married and the single, the gay and the straight, the believing and the non-believing, the lost and the lonely. If you fit into any of these descriptions, then the next step for you is to go to bit.ly bit.ly backslash Radke family and become a part of the best decision I have ever made in my business. And that's to create an online community, the Radke family. For $10.99 a month, $10.99 a month, you can become a part of the dream I had where different people from different places would like me to laugh and talk and give advice and ask for help and lean in and learn and laugh some more. And they do it all surrounded by new friends from all over the country. We have people meeting up for lunch or coffee in Minnesota or in Oklahoma. Um, we had several go to the memorial service of the father of one of our members. So several members got together and went to another member's memorial service. I mean, don't you know how loved she must have felt that day? Surrounded by people that she never met, but she already loved so much. It's why our tagline is the Radke family. Just old friends you haven't met yet. I love that. So type bit.ly backslash Radke family, or you can just text family to 936-282-5596. Someone messaged me once and said, Melissa Radke, ha ha, funny, I don't have to pay to be your friend. And she doesn't. Well, she might, she's got an attitude. But they do have to pay for us to provide every bit of this experience on the Melissa Radke app, which is away from social media, right? So there's like no censorship, there's no judgment. You can, and I mean, to me, the best part is you can literally take your friends with you on your phone or computer, wherever you go. Listen, you may have wonderful friends, but you just don't have any time to spend with them right now. Or maybe you have all the time in the world to give, but you just don't have any close relationships. Or whether you just long for connection to the outside world, you know, beyond where you are and what you can see and you wanna meet new people and try something new. This family is for you. Think of it like this. In a world that tells us we don't need anybody, you don't need anybody, girl. You can do it by your, be, you do you, boo. You can do, you can be an independent woman. You can do it all on your own. In a culture that tells us that, wouldn't it be nice to know that when the day came that we wanted to share just good news, like you wanted to announce your adoption or uh, celebrate a milestone or just be heard. 
that those people that the world tells us we don't need, we're already in our corner and right at our fingertips. I can't wait for you to become a part of the family.